that's a lovely view from there. I feel like I don't want. I maybe want the back wall a bit further away, but I think the height on that is good. It's a bit deeper than the previous one. And welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Absent Plays Minecraft Xbox. If I'm not mistaken, this is episode five. And today, I want to get on inside the base. I want to make a bit of progress today before we get distracted doing other things. Now, later on in the episode, I'm going to take a trip into our reset nether, just to see if I can pick up stuff in the fortress. And we'll see where our blade spawners are. But first, I need a piece of flint. It means I've got to do some gravel farming. Because my flint and steel is broken. Well, am I not getting one, really? I would have expected to get one by now. Yeah, my flint and steel's broken. Wow. Come on. Hey, we got one. Got two. Nice. So you'll probably be able to see from my inventory here that I've got a lot of stuff ready for us today. So, first of all, we're going to get eight pieces of TNT. We've got some glowstone to put in the base. Five pieces of that. And I want to make a flint and steel. There we go. And now I can get rid of this stuff. I don't really need it. So this is all the stuff we're going to be using today in my inventory. I managed to pick up this from a skelly earlier today as well. But what I want to do with the glowstone is get it on this upper layer so that we can figure out where things are going to be. Now, I was looking at this, and the, probably the best spot to put them is lining them up with the corridors, first of all. So the first one, I'm probably going to put here, because then I can kind of knock these out and see what's uh, bad. So obviously that's quite dark there, but... Nothing will be able to spawn here eventually, so that's not a problem. I'm curious to see if I put something here, how bright it is, because I don't want it to be too dark. What I'm wondering is if it's too dark in the horse bay areas, but... I can surely put some lighting in there afterwards, because I haven't really decorated them too much yet. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get monsters spawning on this back area here, so I'm going to put a couple torches there. Just... Try and squeeze a torch on the bat wall there, but the horse is kind of stood in the way. You see where I'm trying to reach is the block behind it. I wish it would cooperate because that would make it life a lot easier. Yeah, seriously, dude. Why? Place the torch. No. Place the torch on the wall. Hey, we did it. Oh. There we go. Okay, so that's a bit lit up now. Maybe what I'll do is put a, like a light behind it. And we could have that turn on if there's a horse in, turn off if there isn't one in, something like that. Just trying to do little things in the base that would make such a difference. So we're going to leave the same gap throughout. So what's that? Six blocks? Maybe not Maybe not six. Maybe we'll do five out here. Three, four, five. Maybe here. Middle of this one. Because then we could centre it on the middle of them all as well. That'd be nice. Place one there. And the last one would go there. So we'll use these three. Oh. Oh, no. I don't have a silt touch pick, so I'm going to have to go and grab a fortune 3 one, just so we can uh, make sure that we get this right. I have a couple beds now, I'm going to sleep first. I've been having real issues with creepers recently. There we go. Especially ones out here, I've been trying to kill them and they just, they don't die, they just blow up. It's just nasty. What was I doing again? Oh yeah, fortune 3 pickaxe. There we go. That's looking better already, it's looking cleaner now that we've got them in. That definitely needs a light there. Let's just hope we get four back from this. Oh, we did. Good. Place that. Can you see the mess that we've made from last episode? I wanted to try and figure out a staircase today, too. So I was looking at this, and I was trying to figure out how we did them last time, and I had a look at them, and they wouldn't fit this area. I want to make it a little bit different, so that's how they've started them off on the last world, was doing things like this. Now, it was when it went to the bend, which was the awkward bit, if I remember rightly, because it didn't bend straight, if you know what I mean. Uh, I think that's going to be the wall there. So if I do one, two, so that then you can line it up with this layer and the other side. So if I do one, two, there we go. It's quite dark, that, isn't it? Let's try and place these on here. But what I was coming up with the idea of whilst... Uh, I was looking around this area, it was having like an upper balcony maybe on this side. Maybe flatten this off a bit more and have it about this height, quite high up. It's only a couple stairs down from that. And this is actually three stairs down. I think the previous world was two. So we would obviously be able to come down here, we'd be able to cut across and just run along an edge here. Because then what we'd probably have to do is block off 
that one there, this archway here, and change this area a little bit. Let's have a look at what it would look like if I changed it, because I don't, if I'm going to have a lower area there which runs across, I probably don't want a full wall waiting here. Now, if I remember rightly, the previous world also had a layer going across there. So if I do that as well, I wonder how it looks. If I block off this completely, it might look too much, but we won't know until we try it. So if I do that, does that look odd being too now? Does that look like it's too clustered? Because especially you've got the three archways here, it just kind of stops. I think it'll be fine for now, but maybe when we've added this area in on this wall here, it'll look a lot nicer. So I obviously brought some smooth stone to clear up and tidy up places as well. Should have probably brought another shovel with me, probably not that broken one, to see what we could do. But it's probably not best to terraform this before I've got the TNT out again. So what I'm figuring out here is what height do we want the stairs to go to? Is it going to be two blocks and then... Oh, that was a bad placement. Do we want it to be at two blocks so the floor height is uh, here? That's our floor height. Or do we want it to go a little bit lower? But I feel like that height would leave us with, what, three blocks? Four? Four blocks. We could probably work with four block wall. So what I'm thinking... He's trying to explode out this chunk here with the TNT and then maybe expand a bit more this way. So we'll try and put a couple blocks in here and let's see what we can do. See if we can do any damage at all to this huge area. Right, let's just uh, do that. It's probably going to hopefully blow us a nice area out here. Yep, that worked exactly how I wanted it to. Now this area is obviously going to be a lot lower so all this eventually will go down but it's trying to figure out where I want this to go, because obviously I do have this bit of a weird edging that I'm going to have to put in here, aren't I? Which means there's going to be another spruce wood and slabs here. So if I put them there, that's going to line up with this side as well. So maybe what we do is I obviously light this place up and then we see if we can get a top edge going here. Now what I probably want to do is have it curve, like have a natural curve to it. So if we get our blocks out and we figure this out with the cobblestone before we ruin it. So obviously this is where the edge is. So if we bring it across a couple blocks where the stairs will end. Because obviously if we place that there, you can signify where the edge is going to be. So if you want the grass to curve round here a bit. Maybe we wanted to bring it out a bit more than that. Maybe if we want to bring it out to there, there, there. Try and curve this slowly. I don't want too much of a curve, so obviously that's too much. I'm going to have to knock a bit of this out. Maybe put it one more. Oh, I ran out of cobblestone. Let's, uh, let's go and... Oh, there's plenty over here that's just been destroyed. Let's just nick that. And let's try and figure out where we want this to go. So if we go like that, maybe, for the starters... And just fill that in with anything that we've got. Uh, there was another one there. There we go. So what about that for an edge? Is that too tight, do we think? Is that too tight of an edge going round? It's not It's not got a lot of curve to it, has it, to be honest. What I really need it to do is kind of go and kind of curve quickly, but have a curve shape to it. Now, that doesn't. That really doesn't have a shape to it yet. So I'm probably going to change that. Now, I should probably put the stairs in while I'm here as well, before I forget, to see what they look like. So if we place them like that, that's what our stairs will be. So this is obviously going to be grass. Hmm. I'm puzzled by this, because I don't really know how it would look without putting grass in and using more TNT. So what I'm probably going to do is use some TNT up here, and let's try and clear out a bit of the land higher up. If I place one in there as well. Probably got, haven't got the time for that. Yep, just going to place one there we'll place one a couple blocks in here just slowly oh there we go just turn around for the damage so that's figuring it out a little bit better now i kind of need to knock out some of this upper area here so if i do that why is it only is it because when i oh okay it lit it that time yeah we need to get this roof raised a bit because it's kind of in the way at this point uh if i've got two pieces left let's place one can I hold shift and get them in? There we go. Oh, it's when I hold shift that there uh, the fire is placing against the block. So we'll, we'll get there. We'll slowly get in there. It's become more of a box shape now, which uh, 
I want to go against doing that. I want a curvy shape. I want, like... You, you saw the first world that we had. We had a very first world. The very original siege, that would be. So, you obviously, you have a nice curve there. You can kind of see where I want to bring this out to now, at least. Got a bit more cobblestone I can work with. I don't really want to run up and down. I want to kind of get it figured out while we're down here. So, if I bring this up to there... How is that? Hmm... It's odd because I'm not looking at it the way I will be, is the thing, because it's all lower down than it should be. So if I put it like that, maybe we'll get a better view of it. Because, to be honest, don't we need the, uh, we need this here anyway, don't we? With the, uh, spruce wood. So if I do that, and we'll get our spruce wood in. And the slabs. Place that one, too. There we go. So that'll come down like that. Now, I'll probably want it to curve quickly, and then it'll be running on dead center maybe this is the center bit that we run on it'll be this block here because it's not a curve that is it it's not really a curve it's probably got a curve quicker than that then hasn't it because that's just a diagonal line that's just not cool maybe what we do is, have we got any more cobblestone we've only got five uh just place that there maybe and try and get a too wide curve going i don't know this is puzzling me because i don't really know what would look good at this point because I haven't seen a lot of it yet. It's very actually that's looking a lot better now that I've added in this extra block. If I place these on it and we can kind of see where our edge would be. Maybe what we need to do is use the stairs as the straight and bring it out another block here because that might be our solution. We'll figure this edging out as we go along here. Because I'm looking at this just thinking, mm, uh, like that sort of thing. So maybe what we do is we bring this one up and then extend this one out by one. Maybe that's what we'll do for this. And then we can obviously go and do something else because I've been rambling on about what I want this to look like for the last five minutes or so. Let's just place that there. I need my cobblestone back. So here, did I say? Is that what I've just done? Or is it that I wanted to do, wasn't it? See, that's looking better. That looks a lot better. But from here, it looks good. I just feel like it's too soon on the stairs. Maybe if we bring the entire wall, everything, by one block to the right there. And then we'll probably see how that looks from there. But what do you think? What do we think? I don't know is the problem. So I'm looking at this thinking that could look good. But on the other hand, it might not as well. So... It's obviously not symmetrical, which is also bugging me just a little bit. So if this is our long wall here, we've got to kind of bring it in two blocks here first. It's got to come to here. It's got to go there and then in. Because obviously we're, we're looking at this wall here in front of us and it'll be, go further back than this. So maybe what I do is I dig out some of this wall and I come back to you guys and we see what it looks like when I've had a fiddle with it and I'm happy with the design. So I'll see you guys when I'm kind of sorted with it, and I'm happy with what it looks like. Ta-da! Well, that's looking a little bit better now, isn't it? That I've dug the wall back a bit. Now, obviously, it's a bit rough on the edge. You're still on that far side. But what I've figured out here is this circle pattern now, finally. I think this is what I'm going to go with. I think that looks a lot better now. It's more of a curve. And it means that I can do something with this corner here. Now, I've been thinking about this corner while I was digging it out. And what about putting like a corner fountain in now that may seem silly because it's of the location of it but if we just think about that for a second we could what we could do is dig the wall back by an extra block on both sides and then do like a ring pattern because clearly what you can see is that we're centered on that block there and obviously i'm going to bring it back an extra block at some point hmm what we could do is that actually that might look nice bring it out there because obviously this wall's going to go back another block at this point still yet but maybe that's too too much of a fountain what do we think um i don't know it, it's i'll get used to it i think maybe bring it in a block to bring it to there and then that one that may that might be it just wanted something small to take the edge off the corner because you can't really do much about a corner area so if i dig this block back another block maybe what we'll do is we'll try and add this fountain in now but we'll end up having to uh, add in some extra wall stuff, which is the thing. So obviously this is all going to be smooth stone. Where's our stone? There we go. 
don't know why I call it smooth stone, because it's not, is it? It's just stone. There we go. Because the problem is with doing too much stone brick is it'll get overused while wow, it's not... How have I not noticed to break that yet? Come on. Pickaxe so slow for efficiency. See, that's looking better. Is What we can get is you can get the shape of it from here. And it's kind of blocked off from this area too. Because until we get the wall back out here, I think that's best to keep that covered up as it is. Because obviously we need dirt is what is the one of the major things we, do, we need down here. And some grass. So obviously I'm going to have to grow the grass from here onto this staircase area here. So what I'll do is knock out the cobblestone and lower it by a block. And put the dirt on top of it. And we'll see what that looks like. Because eventually it's going to have a glowstone. Why? Oh, it's the torch. I was wondering why I couldn't place there for a second. Because obviously the other side, I haven't really mentioned this, but the, st the side behind us here, this way, is going to go much deeper down. So obviously you'll have the staircase go that way and down. And that'll leave all this open area here to be fiddling with. Because maybe what we could end up doing is putting the power core perfectly lined up on this wall here. And because this is sort of a balcony edge, I could hide all the redstone underneath it. Because we could put the jukebox sort of in like the corner there. We could put blocks here. And then we could hide the repeat the repeaters, the uh, comparators behind it, which would be nice. I put a ladder there too, so I could get up and down much easier. So if this is obviously going to run along the edge, like this. Maybe what I'll do here is to try and take the edge off it a bit. Is to put like some, uh, some stuff there. Because that's quite flat. Maybe what I'll do is I'll dig it in a block and we'll run it underneath there. So like we can access behind the wall. We'll have like an access area down here on this wall. Or maybe we just put some paintings on it just to take the look off it. Because obviously the waterfall will be here in the corner so we can dig that down a block. So maybe what you let me do is we'll go and get some water. And I'll see what I can do with this while it's here. We'll obviously have to dig this back to the wall height it's going to be. So that's going to be this height there. Alright, so let me go and uh, find some buckets and get some water. And we'll see what we can do with this little corner area here. I'll be back in just a second. Alrighty then, I finally got the water. So let's just, I think step one's going to be to fill this in and get an infinite stream down in the base. So that we can use the base permanently without running upstairs. And then the next thing I'm going to have to do is bring down all of my, uh, my stuff from above. So now what I'm thinking is maybe trying to do something like that. We'll, ro we'll run the water from the top there. It'll flow down and out. Let's see what this looks like, first of all. It might be too much for a corner. What do we think? It doesn't look too bad, that actually, does it? Because I used to, from the old base, what we used to do is we used to jump into the small one. But if we do that in the corner, what we could do... Is just make, is do something different with it because what I could do here is put some arches in, but I think that I'd be overdoing the arches too much. What I'm do I'm trying to think of this wall is the problem. I'm thinking about it too much. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's six. It's even an even number, which doesn't help either, does it? Hmm. I don't know. I really don't. Oh, I just knocked the mic there. Looking at it, it look it does look better. I'm not sure if to do like a too high wall maybe of stone brick maybe that'll take the edge off it because what we could do also is just completely remove that there is just bring this wall down a block here just bring the stone brick down on both sides so obviously when we get to this side i'll do it there because that's where the wall ends if we had a corridor which continued on we'd be able to have a perfect stone brick line at the top here but i feel what is bugging me now is the fact of the solid stone brick wall which I implemented at the beginning of the episode here and now I'm going to tear it back out again because honestly looking at it how it is now it oh I'm tearing out too much here I need to just tear out that yeah because looking at it it looks a hell of a lot better if I put the stone brick layer lower down in that area there because then we could have stone brick higher up which I feel like would suit it much better if I just knock out some of this, we'll get an idea of how it would look. Because you can actually look through this then. Let's just knock out a bit more. Obviously, I'm going to have to raise this roof a bit more at some point. Oh, knocking out stone brick. There we go. So let's go down here and, and we'll see that it immediately looks a hell of a lot better already. Because stone brick isn't too high above it. And I think that is good. What we could do, actually, is put it upside down. Now, this is me just brainstorming here. Now, I'm obviously not sure of what I want to do. 
and maybe what it's best is to try and just uh, leave it for off camera and then try and figure it out then. But we need to do something with that wall because it's clearly very bland. And uh, maybe what we'll try, I'll just try this now and I'll see what it looks like. So I'll dig it out, I'll put the stone brick in it and I'll show you what it looks like. Because if it looks better, I might keep it. So I'll see you guys in a second when I've tried this. Alright everybody, so what I've done since I last talked to you guys is it's been a while for me but as you'll notice I've just edited it all in your magic. So what I've done is I've had a look at this wall and I've realised a flat wall was just not working basically. And so what I've done is I've started a curved wall here like this. And what I've been coming up with as well is what about putting like nature areas on top of these? Because I was going to do one of these, well, let's just get out. I was going to do one here hanging over the top to so just like a small little curve with like shrubbery and stuff on leaves and stuff just to give it texture down in the base. So I was thinking why not do one here as well? Now the only problem with this one is, is now that the arch is back in, that wall will cover it again. But what... Oh, it'd be like the old base, really, then. Is that we'll have something here. Is maybe what I'm going to do is put slabs here, like the stone slabs. Let's just use our crafting table. Let's get a couple stone slabs. And let's just have a look at what they look like. Because I use these quite a bit in the old base. So if I put them, like, across the top here, maybe a block higher than what I've got going already. Hmm. I don't know. That's quite high up. Maybe we'll bring it down a block. Get rid of that stone one underneath. And then we'll see what we've got. Because obviously I don't want you to be able to just park all your way up here. I want this to be a permanent place that you can get to and just stay. You can kind of see it from a distance, but I don't really want people up there. So that's not too bad. It's lowering the wall by half a block. Maybe we raise the edge block by a block because it'll match the other side. Oh, there we go. What about doing something like that? Because then you can kind of see the blue behind it. That looks nice, actually. He's leaving the blue there. But, I don't know. We need really more TNT to get this a better idea of what this is going to look like. I also went with, like, an edging across the bottom now for a change. Putting some stone brick in underneath. I was going to do it this side, but I didn't feel like it matched. But I feel like this is a nice upper corridor we've got going here. Once we get grass on it, maybe that's what I'll do off camera. Is get the grass down here. And then try and set it up so that we can have a better look at it. That's a face. Just notice that. But, yeah. We want to kind of get more TNT grinding going. I'll try and tidy this area up a bit for next time so we can all have a better look at what it looks like. Maybe I'll end up changing this wall again. Who knows? We'll find out, uh, I guess, next time, everybody. I hope you've all enjoyed me rambling and puzzling and trying to think of what I'm trying to do on this upper section here. We made some good progress today. We've actually got a section in the wall here ready to go. So this would be a nice upper section to match with the big lower section we're going to have here. It'd be like a gradual height thing. Because maybe what we could do is have another flower bay here before it goes down to a lower final section. Who knows? It's just me brainstorming pretty much this episode, everybody. But I hope you've all enjoyed. Uh, I would leave your suggestions down below of what you want me to do with this wall because I'm still not fully 100% sure what I want to do with it myself. But I hope you've all enjoyed, and I guess I will see you all again in the next one. Bye-bye.